Hi, I'm Jennifer Branch. Today's Christmas card, we're painting a warm set of mittens. A warm set of mittens is like a warm hug for your loved ones. Let's paint. I sketch out just a happy pair of red mittens. I don't want too much detail. I do want them the right shape, you know, hand shaped. And that's all there is to it. Now I go straight in with Maroon Perilin and I'm just hitting the shadows, hitting a couple highlights. This is very simple, very, very loose. This is a great thing to practice up loose, but still getting the effect of what you want. I'm using a squirrel brush because it is so loose. There's going to be no detail in this. So it really takes very few brush strokes to convey the idea of an object. And learning how to do that with as few strokes as possible improves your painting dramatically because the less you work the painting, the better it is. So we're better in a Christmas card. I've only used Maroon Perilin so far. You can get a lot with just one color. You're dealing with value shades right now. So some little squiggles, like they might be big, chunky, hand-knitted mittens, very Christmassy, think big mittens and gloves and skiing and hot chocolate and all the fun stuff that goes around Christmas. Now I'm going to add some pinks with the quinacridone red and you see how while it's a pretty subtle contrast it shows up a lot more when you're just using two colors so i have the bluey pink and the warm muted um brownie maroon perillon and when they're flowing together it just makes the painting come alive a lot more this is an absolutely great one for practicing techniques. See, you've got the the um, area, areas of shadow on there, and if you highlight them with the quinacridone red, perfect. Now some nice deep darks. We're still at three colors doesn't take a lot. I'm not a big believer in limited palettes, but for something like Christmas cards, I think they should be short and sweet. And part of short and sweet is not too many washes, not too many colors. I also think sketching outside should be limited to three washes if you can. Sometimes the subject just doesn't let you. So emphasizing those darks. And now that looks like it's gained away from the red, but I promise you when it dries with a little bit more squiggles in there, it's going to be bright red mittens. You have to know what paint's going to look like when it's dry. And I'm telling you, these are perfect for practicing. Now a little bit of looseness added with splatter paint. Have some fun, let your brush move around. little bit of green because you know red and green Christmas don't want too much in the mittens but little bits is okay after all they're not supposed to be pristine I mean I don't even have a shadow there these are just little outlines but it doesn't take a shadow to make it look like some mittens fallen okay now I'm going this is it dry and you see how much uh, redder the deep shadows look. Now I'm just playing with the dip pen. This is a hunt drawing nib and um, some uh, cartoonist ink and you do want to wait till it's completely dry before you start playing with the ink. Trust me. Otherwise it'll blob and make those beautiful bright reds kind of, you know, muddy looking. Keep it hit and miss. That's part of the point of a dip pen is that you can play with it and 
let it move around and squiggle and it reacts just like uh, a brush does. You know, you can get the little fine point if you barely touch it, but you can get big globs of paint. Well, the same thing happens with a dip pen. When you press it down, you'll get big globs of ink. So practice size scrap piece of paper. I usually have a scrap piece of paper that I, you know, may check it, especially before the first stroke or two. I just make sure I have the right amount of ink in there. It's not going to glop where I don't want it. It's not the end of the world if it does. I have splatter paint all over this. So there might be some black splatter paint. Not a big deal. But I'm just going around and I'm loosely defining some of these edges and adding some fun little squiggles. It's a great opportunity to practice your drawing and you know, just saying the most with the minimum of strokes. So I have the little hand knit squiggles, just redefined in ink instead of just paint. But that's why the, um, that's why the drawing nibs and the dip pens are so wonderful for people that are used to paint brushes because I mean I even draw sketch my signature half the time I go back and forth and my husband just laughs but this way you can kind of go around and you can get the change in the broadness of the stroke and how bold the stroke is and it flows with you much better than a regular pen You know, it's just fun to play with. So not too much. I mean, you don't even have to do this stuff. They looked great before this, but it's fun. And Christmas is all about just playing around with stuff. I always make sure a lot of my presents are handmade and handmade cards. Great. So here's a cheerful pair of winter mittens. Bring out the hot chocolate. For all the materials, then please visit my website, paintingwatercolor.com. If you like this, please subscribe. We have 12 days of Christmas cards. Happy painting. May joy be in your home this holiday season.